Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Better Taste Kitchen. This is Chef Colin, aka Shark Boss, and today I'm gonna make some sweet and sour chicken alongside cauliflower mashed potato and some white rice. Stay tuned for more. Okay guys, so as you could see, I have two pounds of chicken cut in chunks and some of them are leg, legs, drumstick. So what I do, and I have some um, ties, but they are boneless ties. So I cut them in like chunks, cubes, you know. So some of them are bone, they're all boneless there. The ties are all boneless, but then the legs, you know. Yeah, so, and I have my um, my onion here, I have my bell peppers, and they are all different colors. This is a part of my ingredients for my sweet and sour chicken recipe. And over here, I got I got some cayenne pepper, like like a pinch of cayenne pepper. I have half teaspoon of lard, seasoning salt. I have half teaspoon of adoba, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and I have half teaspoon of ground black pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and season the so meat. Just to make it clear, I already washed my chicken with some vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and season up my chicken. And guys, I'll also add some egg-shaped powder sell online is selling some local store egg shape powder so I have like quarter teaspoon of egg shape powder I had to it too so I'm gonna let this sit for a good half an hour let it get marinated then we take it from there okay so while it marinate i'm gonna make a, like a, a chicken judge for it because i'm gonna fry the chicken first so one cup of flour like a little bit over a cup of flour Good. all right and then no accurate measurement you just want to use like the same seasoning that i tell you about before just to season the flour. It's a little bit, pinch. Everything is just a pinch. A pinch of the black pepper. Because when you're coating the chicken, you want the chicken to taste seasoned in and out. So even the, the, the skin of the chicken gonna taste seasoned. A little bit of adobo. As I said, just a pinch, not too much. A little bit of cayenne pepper pinch a little bit of same garlic powder and then I'm gonna add a little bit of baking powder secret secret recipe grandma style okay stir this up let it incorporate mix it up mix it up So I'm gonna mix up the egg and the cornstarch. So I have one, one spoon of cornstarch, maybe a, maybe a spoon and a half. Yeah, a spoon and a half of cornstarch. I'm gonna mix this out. When I mix this out, then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add in four eggs beat, okay? Okay, so mix this out. All 
out, then I'm gonna add in my four eggs and beat them. Spam starch, I'm gonna add in. So for my um, cauliflower mashed potato, I have two heads of cali right here, cauliflower, and I have one Idaho potato. Okay, so if you said cauliflower mashed potato, so it's more cauliflower than Idaho. I'm just adding, this is all my own liquor recipe, different from everybody. I'm just adding one Idaho, okay? So go ahead and get these started. So you can pull them apart like this, cut them up, put in your pot. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my um, potato alongside my cauliflower. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put both of them to boil together. So I'm gonna cut these, the cauliflower will boil pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this potato a little bit small in cubes so they cook fast so okay guys i have a pot of boiling water right here so i'm gonna go ahead and boil my cauliflower and my potato together no salt you don't you don't want to add no salt while it's boiling no salt because remember when you're gonna make the mashed cauliflower you're gonna add the salt that you need so no salt added okay just to make it clear my cauliflower with my potato come to a boil and it's fully cooked so i'm gonna go ahead and take it off and then get my milk and my butter for my mashed cauliflower but i cook these for 20 minutes because i want them to well cook so, so i'm gonna go ahead and mash my potatoes so i have my wire crusher right here so i'm gonna go ahead and crush these out Then um, salt, you know when you're making mashed potato, it's, you add salt to taste. So first I'm gonna go with half tablespoon of salt. You could you could add more, but you have to taste it first because you, you don't wanna over salt it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a pinch of black pepper. Just a pinch. Cayenne pepper, same thing, so pinch. I got some heavy whipped cream here, and I got some half and half, and I got some unsalted butter right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start to make my mashed Now the whole thing, this is a point, so I use like half of it. Then just add not that much in the less than a, less than half a pan. The whole thing. And the butter, I'm gonna add like quarter stick of butter inside of it. But I'm not gonna put the butter in it until it starts to get hot. Okay. Let's turn these around. Before I add in my milk. So pour in some of that milk. Okay guys. I want this cauliflower mashed potato to have a smooth texture. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna smooth him out through the strainer, okay? This is a little trick. Okay guys? So okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and fry off my chicken, all right? Fresh, nice oil. I always like to change my oil. You see my oil? Nice, clean, fresh oil. So I'm gonna go ahead Chicken to the egg. Let's 
você. To the egg batter. And then, straight to the flour dredge. Okay. And then what you wanna do? You wanna make this get coated properly. Could use a bigger bowl if you want, but it's not that a lot of chicken, so alright, make sure you get that coated real good, you see? Alright, straight to the fryer. Straight to the fryer. So nice and lovely that is. Nice. Straight to the fryer. Add a couple piece more before I put them all in. Straight to the fryer. And if you notice, I have my, my temperature and 370, so I'm gonna cut him down to 330, okay? Fry away. Okay guys, so um, these chicken, I'm only gonna fry them for 30 minutes. They are not finished yet, you know? look, how they, look how they look already. Look how beautiful that is, eh? better to his kitchen. Nice and wonderful, 30 minutes to exact, I'm gonna fry these for, okay? So, okay guys, I come to my full 30 minutes of frying my chicken. You see how nice and crispy and lovely that is? So I'm gonna put them right on this brand new sheet tray, as you could see with some paper towel okay and if you could see they are not too oily or greasy look at my chicken look how pretty that is beautiful better to your kitchen who do it better okay guys so i have a skillet here getting hot so i'm gonna go ahead and cook up my um let me add some cooking oil first and this is um corn oil i'm using so a little bit of oil you can use butter of choice. I use oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook these up. All these pepper and onion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cook them up for a little bit, like for about six to seven minutes. Okay. Oh, pretty and beautiful that is. Woo. So after my seven minutes, my vegetables are cooked, but they are not overcooked, you know what I'm saying? They kind of still kind of crunchy. So yeah, that's how they look, all right? Okay guys, so for my sauce, I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. Okay, you could use regular white distilled vinegar. So I'm gonna add a cup of that. Of it, so okay, I'm gonna add a cup of sugar. And then I'm gonna add some of the pineapple chunks, but I'm gonna use some of the water from the pineapple chunks. Some of the juice. Okay. Not ready to add in the. So let that come to a boil. And also, guys, I'm gonna add um, some food coloring. So it all depends on the color that you want. You could add. So I'm gonna use yellow today. Not too much. Just maybe like three drops. Just to get a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chunks. And you gotta make the sugar boil out, okay guys? Sugar already boiled out. So add in a couple chunks. Not gonna put everything. Alright. And then all the vegetable. All the vegetable that I told you about before. They're gonna add right into this. Okay. Okay. Add 
sardine. Like a tablespoon of soy sauce. Tablespoon of soy sauce. Regular soy sauce. And then I'm gonna add two drops of the food coloring. One, two. For now, so I don't want it to be too yellow. So I'll go ahead and add one more. That's perfect. I come to a boil. Not finished yet. And the last thing I'm gonna add in is my cornstarch. Okay. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch, not too much. Okay, this thing will make it get very thick. And you don't want it to too thick, okay? I'm gonna mix this out and add it in. So, add in my cornstarch. guys look at that look how nice and lovely and wonderful that sauce is better taste kitchen and the last thing i'm gonna add in guys look how beautiful and wonderful this is is my chicken okay i'm gonna add a few pieces of chicken in there and some of them it's gonna be right on the side okay That's your sweet and sour chicken from Chef Colin from Better Taste Kitchen, guys. Look at that, look how lovely that is. Mm -hmm. Nice and beautiful, huh? Yep. So I'm gonna plate up this food like a mukbang style. For all about, for all of those who know about mukbang, this is a mukbang style. I'm gonna plate this food up. Okay. Okay guys, so for my mashed potato, I do it in style differently, okay? Mukbang style from Better Taste Kitchen, Chef Colin don't know yeah guys you could go and check out the recipe it's lovely <laughs> 